Retinal vein occlusion is the second most common retinal disease after diabetic retinopathy. It's kind of a stroke in the eye. The cause is a sclerotic artery that compresses the vein and then a thrombus develops within the vein which uh, inhibits the flow in this vessel and then the vessel barrier breaks down and fluid and blood is depositing in the retina and in the macular area of the retina. The prevalence of RVO is estimated to be about 0.3 to 3 percent. It's similar in the industrialized countries, so in the US or Germany, the prevalence is similar. The causes of RVO are underlying diseases like arterial hypertension, diabetes, or hyperlipoproteinemia. The symptoms that the patient suffers is a painless loss of vision and it's most of the times of acute onset. The RVO usually is diagnosed by an ophthalmologist because the patient experiences visual loss and then he sees an eye doctor and uh, the ophthalmologist usually makes the diagnosis. Most of the patients that show up in our office with RVO, they do have an underlying disease, though, so the best uh, prophylaxis is to have a good treatment of high blood pressure, so we have well-controlled blood pressure, to treat hyperlipoproteinemia, to treat diabetes. Other than that, there are no prophylactic uh, ways to really prevent RVO. RVO usually affects only one eye. In about 5 to 12 percent of cases, the second eye also develops RVO within five years. If the eye has RVO, the patient loses vision and if he fixates something, then the picture is blurry. But in extreme cases, it can lead to blindness in one eye. The treatment goal for RVO is to improve visual acuity, to bring back some of the vision that has been lost by the patient and uh, with this you can improve the quality of life for this patient. Mm -hmm.